Hello, everybody. My name is Mason, and welcome back to Mason Zero ASMR. Today I have some magic cards to unbox, I suppose, from a TCG player order, and they are for a deck that I bought into. So I have the rest of the cards with me, and I'm going to put the deck together in this video. Uh, before I start, I want to say that I am filming this on my new camera. It is the first time that I've done that, and actually one of the first times that I have filmed one of my ASMR videos on an actual camera. Well, I do have an actual, I've had an actual camera, although I just got this new, this new one. Um, but I've always used a iPhone for the videos because it was just very convenient to work with. So, this is a test uh, to see how this turns out. So, we shall see what happens. Anyways, this deck that I'm going to be working on is a is the modern format version of the blue-white monument deck uh, that's been going around in standard. The modern version seems very nice, and I anticipate it uh, getting pretty hyped up and doing pretty well, at least in the short term, so I wanted to buy into what I didn't have. Not that there was anything too expensive in it, and I had most of the expensive cards already. So, let's take a look at what we got. first card that we have is Dusk to Dawn. This is a very good card because um, in this deck all of our creatures are usually going to be 1-1s one or, you know, maybe 2-2s. Two it's a lot of small creatures. It makes a lot of 1-1 one -one tokens. So this is just a board wipe for all of our opponent's creatures. It's just a one-sided board wipe. Then the other, the aftermath side, Return all creature cards with power two or less from your graveyard to your hand. That's going to be pretty much all of our all of our creatures. So anything that ends up in the graveyard, we can get back because of Oketra's Monument. Uh, it will they will be very cheap because Oketra's Monument makes a white creature spells cost one generic less to cast. And whenever you cast a creature spell, you create a one one white warrior creature token with vigilance. And that those two things are the crux of the deck. This allows us to get a massive amount of tokens while playing a ton of creatures for cheap. So I picked up one of those because I only had two. The deck calls for three. At Dusk to Dawn, I only have one copy and it calls for two. A Squadron Hawk, I got three copies of because I had one lying around. It's just a 1 1 flyer for one and a white. Uh, but when it enters the battlefield, you can search your library for up to three other cards named Squadron Hawk and put them into your hand. So this will allow us to play one creature and then get three more that are essentially one mana for a 1-1 one, one flyer and a 1-1 one, one vigilance when we have the monument out. So we've got one, two, three of those. Oh yeah, we also got a couple cards just uh, just for fun. Uh, such as Flash Freeze, Counter Target Red or Green Spell. A couple of those, just sideboard options for things. Kataki, Wars Wage, also for sideboards against Affinity. All artifacts have, at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice this artifact unless you pay one. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll put that in the sideboard for this deck. Um, it might work better in my white-red burn deck. But, either way, it's a sideboard card. Judge is familiar. The deck calls for four of them. And it's a hybrid blue-white, so it counts as a white creature. Um, I guess that doesn't really matter, because the monument is just whenever you cast a creature. But it's a nice one-mana, one-one flyer, with the added bonus of being able to sacrifice it to, to counter something. We got one of 
one of those. And then White Mane Lion is probably the most efficient card in this deck. It's two mana for a 2-2 with Flash. When it enters the battlefield, return a creature you control to its owner's hand. Uh, you can return itself. And then with Oketra's Monument out, you can play it for one white as many times as you can. Get that many uh, tokens. Or you can return a creature that's being the target of a removal spell. Um, you know, either way, you just get more tokens. Great to use on the end step if you have extra mana up. So we've got a few of those, but the rest are in second package. some more white mane lion. Should be four of them. Yep, there we go. Wall of omens. I had one. I need, needed three more, so I bought them. Also an excellent card for this deck. It's a great blocker early on, and with the monument out, it's, you know, one mana zero four that draws a card. And it's a good deal, so we got three of those. Uh, mana leak. A couple of them. Uh, sideboard and just because I only had one nice to have around and then same for Celestial Purge, Exile Target Black or Red Permanent it's another sort of sideboard card especially against uh, Death Shadow for example and then we have a promo Judge's Familiar because I was feeling fancy so with that in mind take out the cards that aren't for the deck. All right. So, let me bring up the deck list. All right, so. of Judge's Familiar as the first creature on the list. So, there we go. Then we have four Squadron Hawk. Four copies of Reflector Mage. If I can't play it in standard, then I will do what I can to play it in modern. We have our foil. So, four Reflector Mages. Four Spell Queller. Probably 
some other cheap creature. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe mm, I almost want to do Kithion uh, just because he'd be a good short drop that can provide some later game value when he flips and it wouldn't be hard to flip him, but I'll consider it. Alright, uh, spells. For spells, we have two Path to Exile for some removal. And then four copies of Serum Visions for some filtering and draw. Let us dig to the cards we need. Two copies of Dusk to Dawn. As I mentioned. And then three copies of Oketra's Monument. The card that pulls it all together. Now it is legendary, unfortunately. So that's the reason why there are not four. That and we can dig to them pretty well with Serum Visions. And we're going to be drawing a lot. As far as lands, uh, I don't have a super powerful mana base of modern lands, so I'm improvising a little bit. It does call for a Westvale Abbey, so I've got one of those. Because um, you can sacrifice so many creatures. It'd be easy to flip. Uh, we've got two Flooded Strand for some fetch lands. It's only a two-color mana base, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Two Hollowed Fountain. And then three Prairie Stream. Both cards for um, to fetch with the fetch lands. Now, I haven't figured out sideboard yet, but uh, we'll see what we've got. And then uh, I have to fill three spots with... Uh, that were taken up by the Sky SR. So I'm considering some cards for that, such as Kithion, but uh, maybe there are some other flyers around that I can choose. I'll take a look, test a few things, see what happens. So anyways, guys, that is the deck. Nothing too crazy here and pretty low budget, honestly. The only thing that's really very expensive is, uh, is the, um, well, the Spell Queller is pretty much it. <laughs> uh, the Flooded Strand, if you go for four of them, is definitely a few dollars. Um, but yeah, the Spell Queller is going to be a lot. The Shocklands are going to be a few dollars. Uh, Wall of Omens is a couple bucks. Path of Exile is pretty expensive, like six bucks. Serum Visions is a couple bucks. But overall, uh, it's not bad. The deck list I'm looking at on MTG Goldfish has um, some additional lands for some reason. It has a Marsh Flats and an Arid Mesa. Uh, and that adds quite a bit of money, about 30 bucks each. So if you take that out, uh, the value is about $120. And that includes a sideboard. So. Uh, honestly, the, it's pretty low budget. Definitely sub $100 if you build it the way I did. So I definitely appreciate that. So anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'm looking forward to your thoughts on this deck. And if you're playing it in standard or in modern, uh, let me know what you think of it. And I will I'll be sure to post on Twitter or something if, uh, if I have any success with the deck. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Good night.